The Sandman continues to be a Netflix hit and fans were delighted when a surprise bonus episode was released. In Calliope, the Greek goddess, played by Melissa D. Mahat, is held captive by author Richard Maddock, Arthur Darville. In the original story, Calliope is raped when she refuses to inspire the British writer. The story of Richard Maddock and Calliope was adapted for the small screen in a secret episode released after the initial Sandman series. The short installment follows Richard who sought fame through the muse Calliope as he struggled to find inspiration for his next novel. After keeping her locked up in his home, he turned even more sour as she refused to give in to him. In the original story, he resorts to rape as a way of getting the Greek goddess to talk, but this harrowing moment was not included in the Netflix episode. Director Louise said it had never been a part of the script as the creators did not think it was necessary. She told Express.co.uk, As a director I'm hardwired to always show women as strong and intelligent. I don't want anyone to be submissive or pleading or begging or crying, it's just not my bag and I just don't want to do that. She is a goddess, she has dignity. She has strength and power, so despite the horrific and degrading things that happen to her she still keeps her sense of strength. So the way I shot it in terms of the camera I align and the position of her in the frame, I always made sure she was equal to either Erasmus Fry or Richard Maddock. So for me it's you tell a story about a woman being victimized and abused but you do it in a way that she still has her strength and dignity. On why the rape scene specifically was not included, she added, neither Alan Heinberg nor Neil Gaiman thought it was appropriate. I certainly welcome that and I wouldn't have wanted to do it if it had been in there because I don't think it's necessary to see. So instead as Richard goes up the stairs we come down with the camera onto the computer screen where he has got this blank screen, which is basically like his ego. He wants to be inspired by the muse and that's really the place for his ambition and his greed. That's what made him go upstairs and do this awful thing to Calliope but we didn't want to see it. We didn't want to see her in scantily clad clothes on or be too salacious, she's a goddess. Louise shot episodes 10 and 11 over the same period of time and she was aware Calliope would be a secret episode. She explained it was not always easy to keep, saying, I was told to keep it a secret and it's exciting knowing it's for a good reason. But when I went to the premiere I was talking to people and I was like yeah I directed episodes 10 and 11. And they would go 11? And I was like oh no, so you have to kind of watch yourself so you don't say anything. The bonus episode attracted some huge names including Derek Jacobi and of course, Tom Sturridge. On what she felt drew such big stars to the show, she said, I think Neil Gaiman is really revered. Has a brilliant storyteller, has a really clever constructor of ideas and dialogue and I think people just really respect his vision. It's such an exciting project because it spans so many different periods of time, so many ideas about philosophy and writing. So people like Stephen Fry who have got these brilliant brains, it's just an exciting endeavor to be a part of that. The Sandman and the bonus episode are on Netflix now.